Okay guys, so I have another end scale uh, building for you today. Um, so I will be building it and customizing it. These kits typically aren't too busy to build, but um, the customization is where the time really kind of comes into play. So today I have a Plasticville USA, uh, what's it, Gr Georgian, I can't read backwards apparently. Georgian Mansion by Bachman. Um, so um, I know Plasticville kits are very common amongst N scale. Now I did pre open this and I'm going to show you guys. I did, I mean, inexpensive too, so easy to add. Now you guys see though that this, you know, it, it's a white mansion with green shutters, right? And it says, parts molded in color um i mean that's true but the color happens to be red um okay <laughs> and then the shutters are on it so um i don't know what that's about um this does appear to be a new kit everything's sealed in there although it looks like the windows have fallen off of the runners or trees or whatever you want to call them it's loose in there um but yeah i don't know why it says realistic detailing parts molded in color but on the box it's white and in real life um it's it's red i mean that's red um so um, I'm going to repaint this and um, I'm not positive on my scheme yet. I have some general ideas. I don't think it's going to look exactly like this, but it's not going to look like this either. So, um, yeah, um, let's, let's put it together. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay, guys. So I started off by just trimming the roof and the floor and spray painting them just a flat black color just as a um, primer because I knew I wasn't going to do a whole lot to the roof and the floor. Um, but anyway, and then I just took the walls and the pillars and I got them off of the trees or runners or whatever you want to call them and I actually hand painted the primer on those just because I didn't want to do black. I kind of wanted a little bit of that red to show through um, because I do wind up painting this a brick red color. Um, I just also wanted the paint to stick really well so I did put two layers of this gray primer on the pillars and the the walls um also i knew i was going to be doing some white trim i wanted the pillars white so i thought a light gray primer would be best um i'm using mission models primer for the walls on this um just something i found at a local hobby shop and then um i just used i don't even know what brand of <laughs> spray paint whatever matte um, finished black spray paint we had. Then I am using Vallejo paints here to paint the walls and the doors and all of that. It's all Vallejo. Um, uh, these, they're also, this is like specifically the Wiz Kids line from Vallejo. I bought them a few years ago as I was painting some miniatures and they're perfect for stuff like this as well. So, um, I just started off with a deep red color and um, got all of the bricks painted. I was going to do some of the lighter red as accents, but I wound up not liking that, so I didn't do it. And then I took some of the gray primer and I watered it down a lot, a lot, a lot, and then used it as a gap filler and something to just kind of mute the walls a little bit because the red was a little too intense for my liking it was the right color but it was I don't know I I it didn't look dirty enough I guess it didn't look old enough for me so I went ahead and watered down the gray and used that to kind of, as like um, almost like a wash uh, but with the light gray instead of 
a darker wash so that it looked like, you know, concrete between the bricks, which you can't really tell in this shot, but you can tell in some of the final shots. Um, and then I took this, it's not a white, white, um, I think it's called like, um, rotten white or something like that. Um, so it's not white, white, but it is, it is the whitest that I had. Um, and I used that for all of the window panes and the front door and the pillars. Um, and so I just painted by hand all of those and then I went back in with the black to do the shutters and the door um, just doing all of that manually I did give each of them two coats of the white and then I think I only did one of the black um, this was this was dainty and tedious work, but um, totally worth it. Um, like I've said before, these kits are not super difficult, but it does make a difference when you take the time to paint them and they just look so much better in my opinion. Um, but then also with the, uh, what's that called? The chimney. <laughs> with the chimney, I just painted the sides that brick red and then um, later I went back with the thin gray and actually I just used my finger to kind of give it some texture on the chimney because it didn't have any texture like the walls did. So um, I just used my finger to add texture to the chimney um, to make it look like, I don't know, not necessarily like brick, but it not like just a straight red thing coming out of the roof. Um, I wanted it to look a little more in depth. And this part here is probably what took the longest. The white window panes and everything because I had to be super careful not to get too much on the red. I did wind up going back, kind of touching up a couple pieces with the dark red again. And then um, also again with the thin gray paint. Um, just making sure that everything was consistent. Then I went back with the black and added the window shutters. Um, I just wanted this to look very classic, um, like something you'd find around where I grew up. I grew up in Savannah, Georgia, and so a lot of the homes, particularly downtown Savannah or in the outskirts in the country, look a lot like this. <laughs> Big houses, um, pillars in the front, very stately, and actually this reminds me a lot of the high school that I went to. Um, the building that I went to high school in was this sort of red brick with white pillars and black doors. Um, so a little bit, not necessarily homage to my high school, but um, it's, it, it looks a lot like the building I went to high school in. Then I also painted the underside of the roof um, that uh, with the spray paint just because I realized that part of it was going to be showing and I didn't want it to be that gray color. And then of course me and my mind changed and decided that I wanted the bottom to be sort of a darker gray so I mixed the black and white made a bit of a darker gray and then I took a lighter gray and made it kind of look like poured concrete or at least that's what I attempted to do this is where I realized that I'd forgotten to do the front of the house with the black shutters and the black door um, but anyway um, I also took that same light gray that I used to make the floor on the bottom look like concrete and I just dry brushed the roof a little bit just to make it look a little bit more weathered and like it hid been in the sun or something like that um the roof has a nice ridged texture to it so just that little bit of dry brushing really kind of made it pop um on that so that's what i did there there's me just kind of touching up the bricks a little bit making sure i went back with the white where i had over painted a little bit on the shutters and um, just straightened up those lines a little bit. Um, 
just wanted everything to look really nice and even because <laughs> I'm a bit of a perfectionist now this is the part where I get a little crazy I took and I cut out all of these windows to fit okay out of just um, a box that actually had some G scale track that we used for our Christmas tree because <laughs> we have a G scale train running around the Christmas tree and I used it and I cut it out and I just use this PVA glue to glue it on and then I hand painted some light blue shutters on all of the windows after I had glued the um, the windows that I had made and this is just clear sheets I just put a couple dabs of glue on it and put it on there then after I got all of this done and hand painted I decided to look in the box and check the instructions since I was at the point where I was about to put everything together. Everything was painted and ready to put it together. And I pull out the instructions and realize I had glass <laughs> um, that I didn't put in. So I, the glue was still wet on the windows that I had made. So I took it off and I put the real windows in and then I just glued the fake windows onto the real windows and then of course I put it together put together the whole thing backwards and had to put it back together <laughs> so uh read the instructions and pay attention um I also painted the edge of the top black just because uh, I didn't want there to be too much of a seam when I put the roof on and then it was just a matter of cleaning those up so that they stuck, snapping it together, and then I did add some model glue just to make sure it all held together. Okay guys, so that's it. I think it turned out really cute. I know it's nothing like what the front of the box was, but it's also not that absolutely horrendous yellow color that it was, or not yellow, what am I saying? It was red. <laughs> um, it was red. So, um, all I've done, by the way, to light it is I have this battery pack of fairy lights and I just shoved a bunch of them inside. Um, that's probably not the long-term solution, but for now it looks really cool. Because uh, it puts it where you can actually see the curtains in the window. Which, yeah, I was a little stupid on that one. We'll just all agree with that. But that's okay, because I fixed it. And I still think it looks amazing. Actually, in the camera I can see. The curtains actually look really cool. And having the fairy lights all around kind of looks like different lights in different rooms. So maybe I will leave it like that. I don't know. Um, we don't even know where it's going on the layout yet. But that's it. I think it turned out really cute. It reminds me a lot of places near where I grew up being in southern Georgia country uh, but I think I, th I like it and John likes it and it's going on his train layout so um, yeah that's it like these kits are super simple it was snap tight so it just popped together if you didn't want to paint it I mean I guess that would have been fine too um, I'm glad I went with the red and not a white too, because if I do decide to light it, you can kind of see the bricks glowing. Um, so you can kind of see the red undertones of the plastic that was already there. So there's that. Um, I don't know that we're gonna leave the lights in it. I, I don't know. I just wanted to build it, because it's cute. So anyway, <laughs> there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to see you back again soon for some more whatever I decide to build this week and um, other than that just remember why not you see you later guys.